In the last video, we looked at different combinations of 1 by 5 digit and then 1 by larger digit combinations and multiplied out. Here, we're going to start looking at 2 by 2 multiplication. So let's say we have 20, let me use a different color, 23 times um, 21, uh, 22. So how do we do this? And what's the idea? Well, the idea is that when you're multiplying two numbers, let's say that we can think of that as an area, because whenever you multiply, you create a rectangle or an area. So here, if we think of this as 23, and this as 22, right? The answer is this area right here when we multiply them. Think of anything else, like if it was 6 by 2, this rectangle would have an area of 12 inches because it's 6 times 2 or 12. Here we're saying, well, we can do the same thing, but let's break this up. So let's break the 20 and 2 length into 20, 2 tens, and 2 ones, something like this. So really a large two tens, right? This is 20 right here. Let's label that. So this is now 20. And this little distance right here is 2. Oops, is just 2. So that length, instead of being 22, is just 20 and 2. And here for 23, we can think of that as two tens and three ones, maybe something like this. So now this is equal to a distance of... 20, and this is equal to a distance of 3. Why am I showing you all this? Well, if you think about what we did, we broke up this large rectangle into 1, 2, let me do hide it like this, 2. So let me go back, 1, 2, 3, and four rectangles. Sorry, this is a little bit off, but what I'm trying to show you is that when we do that, when we break up these distances where this little distance right here, oops, wrong tool, this distance right here is two, and this is over here, let me choose green, this is a distance of three, while this is 20, and this is 20 right here, we create four little rectangles, and we can find the area of each of them and then add them up. So here, this would be a 20 by 20 rectangle, or square, because this distance right here is 20, and so is this, and that's 400. And this distance right here, hang in there with me, is a 2 by 20, because this is 2 right here, and this height right here is 20, right? This is 20. Multiply those two, we get 2 times 20, all right, like this, 2 times 20, which is 40. And then this distance over here, which is a 3 by 20, which is 60. And then this little area over here, which is just 2 times 3. And that's 6. So in other words, if I wanted to find out <coughs> what 22 and 23 was, I could break it up. into 20 times 20 is 400. That's my first number. And then 20 by 2 is 40 and then 20 by 3 is 60, and 2 by 3 is 6. So the product would be the sum of these four rectangles, right? We broke it up, but we didn't change the shape itself. So in other words, if I want to know what 23 times 22 is, that would equal 400, that's the large square, plus 60, plus 40, plus 6, which is 506. So it's okay to break up each number into 20 and 2, and 20 and 3, and then multiply all the combinations and add them up, because we'll still get an answer that makes sense. And now we can do the same thing here. And what's happening? Why am I showing you all this? Well, let's let's just move this down here for a moment, because we'll come back to it. What this does, when we multiply like this, we're thinking of 23 as 20 and 3, and then we're thinking of 22 as 20 and 2. That's what this says right down here. We're breaking them up into their into their place values. And then we'll look at all the combinations, right? 20 times 2 and 20 times 3. Just like we did with stack multiplication before. 
and that gave us these two rectangles here, 20 by 2, and then the green one, 20 by 3. And then we take the number 20 and multiply it by 3, and then by 20. And that gave us um, these, oh, sorry, sorry, going back. We took that original 2 and, just, and multiplied it by the 3 and the 20. That gave us this little rectangle, right? And then that gave us this rectangle right here. And now we're taking the 20 and multiplying it by the 3, which gives us this green rectangle, and then 20 by 20, which gives us this large rectangle, and then we add them all up. And so we basically combine all the different place values, multiply them, add them all up, and we get our answer. And I'm just showing you this diagram because it reminds me that this process does make sense. We can break numbers up, find the different areas, right? multiply, and then add up all the pieces, and our answer will make sense. So how does that look in stack multiplication? Well, all this stuff is happening in the background, but really the stack multiplication is quite, quite simple. And what we were going to do is this. We have 23 times 22. So we take this first digit right here, this 2, multiply it by the 3 to get 6. That is this right here. And then we take the same 2 and we multiply it by this 2 over here. And that's 2 times 20, or 40. So we put a 4 down here, and that shows 40. And that area is right here. Okay, two more to go. Now we're taking this 20 right here and multiplying it by 3. So right away we realize that that's not a 2 anymore, that's a 20 times a 3. And that gives us 60. So where do we put the 6? We're going to put it here. It's 60. Now, as a safety, so we don't forget this process, what, what we usually say is that you start here at this first digit, multiply out, get these two digits, and now when you move on to the second digit, what you do so that you don't forget that this is really a 20 and not just a 2, you put a 0 here as a placeholder. So when you move to the second line, you might start by putting a 0. That might remind you that now you're taking 20s and multiplying that by 3. Because if we just did 20 times 3 and put a 6 here, well, that wouldn't make sense because this is the 6 or, or 1's place value. But really, 20 times 3 is 60. So we make sure we put a 0 here as a placeholder so that when we put this 6 down here, it automatically fits in the 10's place and represents 60. You don't have to put this 0 here, but I recommend it. It's a good safety. And the last step, 20 times 20 or 2 times 2, what's that? Well, it's 4. Right? We, put it, we go right to left. And this 4 represents 400. 20 20s is 400. And now we want to add the pieces together, just like we did with the, the shape over here. And we add up, we get 6. 4 and 6 is 10, so that's 0 and 1. And that's 40 and 60, really, so it's 0 10s and 1 100. 400 and, and 1 is 5. So the answer is 506, which is exactly what we got before. All right, hope that helped.